Aloha guys and welcome back to my channel or just welcome. Today I'm going to do an Ulta haul for you, all drugstore products. Um, and I do have some of them on and we're gonna go through right now. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I purchased um, is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour um, Pro Matte. And it says, it's a demi matte finish uh, semi matte, normal to oily, um, and it's oil free. It's supposed to last 24 hours. I am wearing it today. Um, this is the second day that I've worn it and I am in the color 104 and first impressions. I do not like it. Um, I actually put it on today. It doesn't have a lot of coverage. Um, I put over my Maybelline, um, the one that I wear all the time. Um, I put on my Maybelline Superstay over it. I feel like it doesn't have a lot of coverage. This has been super duper popular, um, super popular, and I hadn't purchased it, but I was really looking for some affordable foundation options. Um, and I, to be honest with you, I've wanted to try this forever, and I just thought, you know what, heard so many good things let's give it a go and it's a flop it is a no-go for me and yeah that's all i have to say about that so next is another um it's a bb cream so it is a maybelline dream bb fresh so looks like that and this has been another popular drugstore item i have not tried this yet now this says that it is an eight in one beauty balm skin perfecter um, and it has a sunscreen of, or the SPF of 30, which I love because a lot of the times when I'm going out to the grocery store or just going out running around, I don't really want to put a full face of makeup on or my expensive makeup. So I really wanted something that would give me some sunscreen and just some nice coverage um, to make me look like I'm human. So I'm super excited about trying this. Hopefully this will be a winner. Okay, so I, you guys know that I got the Huda Beauty, like, um, is it the nudes, nude palette, where it's got like the pinks and the nudes. So I thought I really wanted a really fun, good drugstore palette. And this one was super popular at one time. Um, and it is the Maybelline nudes right yeah the blush nudes and even my daughter was raving about this one and it actually looks super pretty on her um i am wearing it today I'll give you a a look at that um i used and look at this this is come on maybelline seriously this is what you're gonna give me so i'm gonna swatch some of them i'm gonna swatch the ones that i used on this eye look so you can kind of see what I used I don't think they're all that pigmented and I don't know if I got like I mean is it possible to get a bum palette so these are the colors that I used on my eye today um, I really wanted to use these here and kind of do like a a silvery blue look but when I went in with this one it just yeah it's it's too like dark I don't know it looks almost like a light gray not uh, incredibly pigmented um, let me swatch some of the other ones let's do these two on the end to see how pigmented those are Okay, that's nice. And then, so we'll do the, ooh. Okay, those are really nice. Those, those have some nice pigment. So I may do like a darker look, um, but not a dupe for the um, Huda, Huda, not a dupe for the Huda Beauty uh, nude palette. Let's keep this party train going. So another popular item at the drugstore was this Wet n Wild um, highlighting powder and it's the Mega Glow in 
uh, precious petals now this was so super popular and it really is absolutely pretty um, and I do have it on today I'm not sure if you can see it um, and it's nice it's very pretty um, it was a little anticlimactic putting it on because I just I don't know okay see it swatches really nice but I feel like, I don't know, like I had to work really hard to put it on. Maybe I used too much powder. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I got that. I don't know, guys. I'm feeling like disappointed in my haul. It's like, seriously? Anyways. Okay, so next is this Fit Me Powder which I've heard a lot of this about this Fit Me powder and I've used this like two or three times and this is in the color 25 medium so it comes off like this and it's like in a shaker so I just shake it on the top and um, actually it's really nice so I think that this is a winner I've worn it all day um, and it keeps me nice and matte in my t-zone um, so I'm really liking this so far. So that was the winner is I bought the Lash Paradise. I was super duper excited about trying this. I know I am so, so late, but everyone says that it's a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, and I really like that one. Not that I buy it all the time, but I, recently I have been using the heck out of a travel size and I really like it. Um, I am wearing it on my lashes right now. Um, I just actually only put one coat on. So let's put a little bit more on. Um, I used it on my bottom lashes and I think that was a mistake. Um, I don't like really like heavy mascaras. Not that this is super heavy, but it's still too heavy for my bottom lashes. So let me scoot closer. So that's that. I'm not sure this, this is only the first day that I've worn this. Um, and I think it really could be, in my opinion, a dupe for the better than sex. I'm not sure that uh, if it flakes or anything, but um, so far so good. I really like this. So, oh, that's two winners, right? Oh, and so this lip color right here, oh my gosh. So this is what this is. This is the L'Oreal. And what are these called? Let me get my glasses. Hi there. Okay. So it is called the um, Color Color Riche and Shine, and this is the color Varnished Rosewood. So it is so pretty. It's super moisturizing looks like that um, honestly I wanted to get more um, more colors it's just like a lip balm uh, I, I put this in my purse so I had to go dig it out and I love it for everyday wear it's super nice super moisturizing I love that it has pigment and um, it's a nice break from liquid lipstick, but this is just an everyday color and I super love it. So another win. Okay, um, I bought some colorful eyeliners by NYX and I got purple and I forgot to open. So I'll swatch the purple one. It's, they're super creamy. So I have it on today, of course and that's what the purple one looks like. They glide on super nice. I'm not sure if you can tell I have purple on, but, um, and then I also got this blue one. I tried to open everything before the video started because packaging is just so hard. All right, whoa, wow, and it just broke. Okay, all right, that means it's super creamy. So that is that. And I was going to wear this one today because I was trying to do this icy blue look, which did not work out. But so I got this blue and the purple. I really love the purple. It's really nice. Last but not least, um, 
This is not from the drugstore side, but um, this is their um, travel size of the Provana and its intense therapy leave-in treatment. And I've heard good things about Provana. I do color my hair a lot. Um, I have lots of gray, so I do my roots, and then I've been um, bleaching and highlighting my hair. So always looking for intense moisture, and I love leave-in treatments. So this is what I put on my hair. I used it today. Really like it so far, um, and it smells really good. So we'll see how it holds up to, like the Briogeo had been working, the Rosarco Milk leave-in treatment, which I love. Um, but I was hoping that this would be even more so, so I'll keep you updated on that. All right, guys, so that is my Ulta haul. I don't know, I'm torn. I feel a little disappointed in the stuff that I bought only because I bought it online. I had high hopes for this stuff. I don't know, I was super disappointed in this, in this, I mean, this is pretty, but I don't know. I guess I expected it to be more glowy. Um, I don't know. But then again, you know, I did love the powder. I, d I do love this gloss. And um, what I haven't tried this yet. So high hopes for that. And then I do like this liner. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, Give this video a thumbs up and when you give a video a thumbs up that means that you like this video and then you want more people to see it so that's what that does all right guys that's it for this video i love you thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys